Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to try out the free software that came with the 60 watt laser. All right, so when we got this laser, it did come with a USB drive in it that had some software on it. That software is called RD Works. Now we were super excited, so I did light burn first, but now we're going to test that out properly uh, with some more cutting. Before we get into that though, uh, check out the sales that Monport is having for the season. And uh, don't forget to use our discount code KLR10 and our affiliate links are in the description. Yep, and that'll get you 10% off and we can get you some links to Monport. Anything you need, just let us know. Yep. All right, first thing <laughs> first, we're gonna jump over to the computer, take a look at RD Works, uh, get a pattern pulled up, cut file, and then uh, we'll meet you back out here. All right, here we are in RD Works. I have already plugged in the laser, as well as gone through the settings, and you just add it, boom, it's there. Now, this is backwards, so I'm gonna need to figure out how to get the origin correct, but right now, I'm just going to uh, design it the way I want it and then I'm going to invert it and it'll go to the laser correctly but I do need to figure out how to flip the origin that might be in the details or modifying it doesn't look like it's there so it's going to be a setting somewhere I'm just not exactly sure where it is the main thing is we know the size uh, that we want and this is the laser bed for the 60 watt now, second thing, we come down and we go to import. Um, this wants to import DFX, right? But we can set it on different things. The SVG is uh, what we're going to use today. And if we try to click on that, it, it's just not right, right? It only pulled in some of the stuff, not everything. So what I decided to do was to convert to the file that it wants. And the file that it wants is a DFX, D, uh, sorry, DXF. So the file it wants is a DXF. Now you can convert that any way uh, that you can get it converted, right? You can do it via Inkscape, you can do it via GIMP, um, anything that can convert it and save it in different format, that, that's what you want to do. So now we're going to pull that one in. See, so now we've got the full design, both paths, and we can click OK. And you can see there's a blue path, there's a black path. So the black is cut, and the blue is just going to be like an engrave or uh, lighter pass. So we don't want to really do a scan in kind of engraving because that would take forever. So we'll just do like an outline or a line, however we can go. Most likely it's just laser cut at a lower percentage. Now the piece of wood that I have is slightly larger than it looks like what these hands are going to be. Because if we grab that so it's yeah the piece the piece of wood i have this pre-cut that we've been using to test is not uh, much wider than that which means it's not going to go clear out here so i'm just going to reorient things and kind of smash it all together um and we'll get rid of this base because we really just don't care about that it looks like it's either meant to be <clears throat> to go like on top of this platform or to go under this platform i'm not really sure which one but Either way, uh, we're just going to get rid of it. So we'll zoom in, and we will select these two lines, and delete that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm shift-clicking, and that gives us all three. What we want to do on this one is rotate it. The only f place I've found is this right here. There's no, like, just quick 90 degrees, so we're going to tap it in. And while we're here, we're going to move it up and over. So we want to get it pretty snugged up to the body without going, you know, over it. So a little bit sticking out should be fun. Next one is I'm actually going to move the nose and the shoes. What I want to do is I want to put the hat here. I'm actually going to flip it upside down so that it 
fits in kind of this triangle right here and then we will move the shoes and the nose down so we can just grab these move them down and again I'm doing all of this with shift click so that it keeps the lines exactly where we want them this one's gonna be a little bit trickier so if we go this way it doesn't even get the outside but can we shift click off okay we can so we're gonna shift click off of those few and then shift click onto the hat All right, we've got everything and we're not moving anything extra so now we can put it over here this one's gonna be a hundred and eighty degree flip and then we're just going to bring it in as close as we can the piece of wood does go clear top to bottom so we can use that fully and it's just getting it as close to these hands as possible and that looks pretty good okay here are the parameters for each layer this one is the engraving path so for speed we're going to leave it at 100 uh, that's what we've been doing engraving on it it works great and we're going to do 30 percent so that's what we like there now for the black outline uh, this is actually cutting and we don't want 100 uh, our last cut was at 30 and that worked great and 50 percent okay so it looks like you have to set the max first you can't set the minimum above the max and i know that i had to run it two passes to get a clean cut so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump it up to 60. and we will save that so both of those are saved now the only other thing that i'm looking at that i'd like to change is actually these down here so we know that these are going to be where the feet stand and that means that if we cut them the way that they are just built in it's not going to fit so we need to do some sort of offset uh, so i'm going to create a new layer i highlight those and then i select red and now we've got a new laser up here this is it it what it did is it copied the settings from the black layer down so it's probably how rd works uh, is built in so it just copies uh, the last layer when you add a new layer we're cutting so we want these correct now i did have to go reading to figure out exactly where the offset is and it is in here so it's enable uh compensation right so what i found is that <clears throat> rd works defaults to lasering directly on the line it doesn't do the outside it doesn't do the inside and then you can set compensation here and from our curve testing uh, 0.11 was the one that was the best so we're going to start with that and see how that goes now all we need to do uh save the file so you've got it and then get the machine plugged in so that we can uh, do some tests so back out here programs all ready to go first thing i'm going to do is turn on the laser and download it to the laser so got emergency off all right so in the software if we come over here uh, we've got start pause continue stop save all these kind of things so we could run it off from here but i want to get it into the laser so that i can see exactly what's going on framing and all that now I couldn't find framing inside RD Works, so if you know where it is, let me know. For now, we're going to do it this way. So I hit download. Uh, it you can put in whatever name you want it to be. It's just RD Works right now because it's a test file. And I hit OK. All right, it is successful. So now we should be able to see it in the files. All right, on the controller here, files. All right, RD Works is there now, and we see the pattern. So we've got what we want. We can hit enter, boom, so now we've got it up there. It's got all of our uh, settings and the different lasers. These are kind of guesses. I'm not exactly sure what this is gonna do compared to Lightburn. Other software which we've used are always just a little bit different. So we'll figure out this one. Kinda of guessed where the board's gonna go, but I'm gonna frame it and make sure. So let's hit that.
Awesome. That looks perfect. So we'll go ahead, close the laser up, get the exhaust fan on. Do not forget your glasses. Now we can hit start. All right, that took just shy of two minutes. Um, let's take a look at it. I, there's parts of it I'm not super maybe happy with is the right word, but I'll show you. It's hard to tell while it's going, but I'm not sure that these are quite dark enough and it is definitely not burned through. So without moving this, I'm just gonna turn it on and run the exact same thing again. This time as I was watching it, I could see pieces falling out as it was cutting it. So we're definitely, should be good. Maybe just a little hang up on the hat. Yeah, just this itty bitty little piece didn't fully cut through. That could be glue, that could be a knot. That's probably the wood and not your laser. All right, now we have all our parts. This is a layered piece, so let's see how it fits. Super cool. Everything fits together, everything cut. Oh, I'm gonna make sure that it will stand up, I guess, to extra pieces. Oh yeah, that's gonna fit real snug. Oh, stands up. What we're gonna do, we're gonna paint all of these. Uh, then we'll get them glued together. Aaron got this all painted up. I'm gonna use some CA glue and I'm not gonna activate it because I just wanna be able to maybe slide it around a little bit to get it in place. But I'm gonna start with the hat. That one looks like it's probably the easiest. And we'll do the rest after that. Here he is finished. Uh, turned out pretty cool. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.